Piers Morgan says hypocrite Harry needs to get off his high horse and stop preaching about the environment as it's making him a laughing stock. The outspoken TV host, 54, said the Duke of Sussex's recent ridiculous display of two-faced, disingenuous planet-saving drivel is making him a laughing stock. Piers pointed out in his Daily Mail column yesterday that it is a parody that Prince Harry has responded to the backlash of him getting four private jets in 11 days by giving another speech. This week, Prince Harry, 34, launched a new ecotourism project focusing on sustainable travel in Amsterdam called Travelist. At the launch, he told onlookers that we could all do better and said we all have a responsibility for our own individual impact. Piers said the occasion put Harry back in his favorite preaching pulpit and saw the Duke banging on about the urgent need for all of us to stop damaging the ozone layer with our horribly selfish carbonated boots. Piers wrote, I've no idea who's advising him at the moment, or rather whose advice he's listening to, though I can hazard a pretty good guess it's someone in very close proximity to his royal boudoir speaking in an American accent, but he's getting it horribly wrong. He also stated that Prince Harry lied in his attempted to justify his hypocrisy. Pierce pointed out that Harry's claims that he actually flies commercially 99% of time are not true as he has used private jets 6 out of 10 flights since marrying Meghan Markle. He also slammed Prince Harry saying that he sometimes flies private for the protection of his family, including Meghan, 38, and baby Archie, who was born in May. Pierce added, did you really accept a free ride on Elton John's private plane to the south of France last month because you were worried about the safety of your family, or because you just fancied a more luxurious mode of travel? The TV said that Prince William, as heir to the throne and a far higher security risk flew by budget airline Flyby to Scotland with his family for their trip to Balmoral. And he also said Princess Diana flew with B.A. without security issues. Finally Piers slammed Harry for his claim that he always offsets his carbon footprint by making donations to renewable energy initiatives. The Good Morning Britain presenter said that Elton John was the one to donate on Harry's behalf after their night nice visit. He also said that stars shouldn't think they can buy their way out of responsibility. He concluded. There's an unspoken rule with the royals that they don't rub our noses in their vast riches by being unnecessarily ostentatious, and that they don't lecture us all about how to lead our lives if they're leading the opposite lifestyle in private. Piers said the Queen has mastered the art of doing this and she understands that she only endures thanks to the support of the people. It comes after Meghan Markle hired a crisis management firm that once represented Harvey Weinstein in a bid to improve her image. Last month. TV host Helen DeGeneres, 61, leapt to the eco-warrior couple's defense after they were branded hypocrites for taking four private jets in 11 days. Her comments come after Elton John's passionate defense of the couple's use of the private jet to visit his swanky pound 15 million mansion in Nice, 